Hey everyone! Today, we're going to run through one of the most fundamental lessons of survival. Building fire. Whether you need to keep warm or burn down an infected house, being able to create fire is one of the most important things you can learn. And it's so easy, a caveman can do it, dummy! First, let's take a look at the three different fuels you'll need for your fire. The first is tinder. These are the smallest pieces, the little bits that light first. Small twigs, dried leaves, paper, fur needles, all work great for this. The next fuel you'll need is kindling. This is flammable stuff with a bit more bulk to it. You'll need these once your fire is just lit. Branches, cardboard, and smaller split wood work great for this. The last group is larger logs and bulkier items. You'll need these to keep your fire going. Did you gather all of that? Great! Let's move on to the next step, building a fire pit. Fire pits are great because they add some safety and they'll also provide some insulation for your fire. Feel free to line it with some rocks, that'll reflect some of the heat back towards you. So next, you're going to want to start placing your tinder down into the fire pit. I like to put my tinder in first and then build a little teepee structure around it with the kindling. The teepee will provide some shelter for those first flames and it'll help the kindling to light. Step 4. Let's light some stuff on fire. As the fire starts, gently blow on it. This will provide some oxygen to the flames. Just be sure not to overdo it. Once your kindling is burning well, start adding smaller pieces of the bulkier wood, being careful not to smother your fire with these pieces. And as the fire continues, just feed it new wood as needed. And that's about it. Thanks for dropping by and learning how to build a fire in the zombie apocalypse. And remember, always bury your dead face down. That way it's China's problem. Thanks, and be sure to click subscribe.